Kanan Brooks. Last week, came a little shy of 100 yards, though. How much fun did you have last Saturday? I mean, it's a ton of fun. Uh, you know, obviously, I missed a few games due to injury, so... You know, it felt great to be back out there, you know, with my teammates, you know, battling against a, against another good team. And uh, to get a win was, you know, was amazing. You've had a chance to look at Central Missouri's defense. What kind of stands out about their defense? Uh, they do a lot. They do a lot of different things. Uh, you know, unlike Washburn, you know, Washburn, you know, doesn't do as many, you know, different looks and things like that. So uh, we'll, we'll have to, you know, lock in and, you know, execute and play our game this week. One other question for me. You... Billy Ross, along with Kingsley Bennett, mm -hmm. how much fun are you guys having together? Oh, it's a ton of fun. You know, we uh, you know, we have a pretty good relationship off the field as well. Uh, you know, we put a lot of work in together this summer as well. So, you know, for it to all come together, how it's been, you know, how it's been coming together is, you know, it's amazing. Just question: Your game was how how was the ankle feeling? Oh, it's it's feeling pretty good. Uh, you know, it's gonna hurt. You know, throughout the week, but you know, on Saturdays it's. It's going to have to be able to go. Uh, that's just kind of how I look at it, you know. Uh, no matter how I was feeling on Saturdays, you know, you know, my team needs me, so I need to go out there and be ready to go. To that point, too, um, you know, obviously, you know, this offense is very well balanced. You know, Greg's doing what he's doing, but it really starts with you in the running game. Um, just kind of how important is it for you and the other running backs to kind of uh, establish the run game and open up other things on offense? You know, it's extremely important, and, uh, you know, and we know that, and I, I try to make it a point in our room that we need to, you know, come out, you know, run physically and, you know, establish that run game so we can start to get into our uh, play action stuff and things like that. When you look at a team like Central Missouri, you know, as a well, not double-A team, this is tough, but um, and to have them seem great stuff in the run football this year, do you look at that at all or just kind of go about sitting your game plan and how you respond? Uh, as Coach Higgins would say, we try not to scoreboard watch and stat watch and things like that because, you know, this conference is uh, extremely competitive. And uh, any given week, you can come out there and get beat. So, you know, you have to just execute and play your game every week. Hey, Kanan, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. All right, so last week you had the touchdown that gave you guys your biggest lead of the game. Just how do you all stay motivated when you already have such a big lead to build on that lead? I mean, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I mean, you got to play till, you know, it's three zeros on the clock. And, uh, you know, we took a, took a really tough loss last year up three scores. So. You know, those those things kind of built the built the character for this team that we have this year, and uh, we remember those things. So, you know, the talk on the sideline was, you know, don't get comfortable, you know, stay in it. Uh, we still got to play the game. Yeah, and coming back home off of a turnpike win, do you guys have a little more energy, a little more excitement to come back home after a rivalry win? Oh, absolutely. I would say so. You know, you kind of can't help that. You know, you know, after a tough win like that, you know, it feels good to win. Uh, you know, it's not easy to win as well. So, you know, we, there's definitely a little, little extra bounce in our steps this week. So, about that. so really quick, if we kind of based off what Laney said, you know, what is, what is a win like that against Washburn? I know you guys obviously want to beat them, you're their biggest rival. So, what does it mean to kind of beat them? And, and you know, what kind of confidence does that give you here for the rest of the season? Well, it gives us a lot of confidence, uh, you know, being able to show ourselves that we can beat, you know, a good team. Uh, and, you know, to beat them how we did was, you know, it was a really good feeling. Mm -hmm. Have you guys maybe prepared differently, or do you guys prepare the same way for, for a game like that? Uh, we try to prepare the same way, uh, even maybe a little more, because, you know, we know that we're, we're feeling good about ourselves coming off that win. So, you know, the talk this week around the locker room and, you know, on the practice field has been, you know, we have to lock in and, you know, take that next step. You know, no matter who we're playing, we have to get better every single week. Uh, you know, I don't know how fun it can be, but I know that we, you know, we will get better every single week as we go on. And, uh, you know, we've been electric thus far, and, you know, we're going to continue to do that. That's all for me. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. All right, no problem. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Kane. Sorry. Very good. Well, Cade, Central Missouri coming up, and you look at them, their record says one and four. But as you've looked at them on film, what kind of stands out about them? What, what makes them still a dangerous football team? Yeah, offensively, they they just make things happen. They drive the field. They have um, explosive backs, a uh, quarterback that makes things happen. And obviously, we've learned from last year um, not to ever take anybody lightly in this league. 
they're well coached, um, and we got to go out and execute, um, and just keep focusing on ourselves and trying to get better every week. The win last week over Washburn, though, what kind of confidence did that give you guys? I mean, it gives us a ton of confidence. They were a good team. Um, we played well. I mean, defensively, we played well for three quarters. Um, and so, yeah, we just got to build upon that, um, learn the good and, from the good and bad, um, and just take it with us every week. Yeah, I mean, anytime you can get a win and, and learn something from the game, it, it's a better feeling. Um, you know, we got to be better. Just got to finish the game. Um, you know, don't don't let it, we were playing not to lose. Um, we got to stay aggressive. That's our defense. We want to win. Um, we want to play fast, and that's something that we're going to keep in mind when that situation happens again, and not let it happen. Yeah, I mean, I've been in this conference a long time now. Um, seen some crazy things. Uh, they, what we got to understand is it was the same situation for both teams last season. Uh, and we didn't come away with what we wanted last year. Um, we're just going to put our head down, work, focus on us, whatever we can do to raise our standards, what we're going to do. And, uh, you know, we're going to have that approach every week just like we did last week. Yeah, we've. I mean, he's awesome. He's smart. He's. He knows how you know me and Dawson think. Um, he played with us forever, um, and he's pushing us. Um, he's one of the. He's a better person than he is a coach, and he's a really good coach. Um, it's just been a blessing to be you know, him be a part of my last part of my journey here. Um, you know, we're we play hard for him. We want we want it for him just as much as we want it for us. And have you gotten used to calling him Coach McDowell yet? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we try to do a good job of that just because there's a lot of younger guys. Um, obviously, he is my coach. Uh, he'll be called coach until I leave here, but he's also a good friend of mine. He's a brother to me. Um, and like I said, I just want to play hard and do him right. Um, he deserves all the credit he's ever gotten, and he's going to do amazing things as a coach as well. Are putting up those numbers, you guys are group on all these tackles and, and interceptions. What does that do maybe for the offense, right? We know what Brady can do on the offensive side of the ball. So when you guys are stopping the Washburn offense and any other offense, what does that do for your defense when you're stopping them and it gives Brady more of an opportunity to score points and obviously get you guys well ahead enough so you don't lose the game? Right. We like whenever we can get the ball back in Tin's hands, we want to get the ball back in his hands as fast as we can do it. Um, he's dynamic. All those receivers, uh, you know, Billy and Kanan. Whatever we can do um, to get the ball back to them and they use their tempo to, to wear out the other defense, um, we're going to try to do our part, stay aggressive, you know, turnovers make that even better, getting the ball back to them. And uh, I like our chances anytime he has, he has the ball in his hands. That's all I got. Thanks so much, Kate. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kate. Yep. All right. Um, Central Missouri coming up this Saturday. Last year, they snuck up and bit you guys. Does that come into play at all as you prepare for this week? You know, I think it just kind of gives you a reminder that you can't take any team in this league lightly. You can't take any week lightly. You just always got to, you know, prepare the same way, treat everybody the same, and just be ready to play on Saturday. Coming off a win over Washburn where you guys jumped out to a 42-14 lead, when you're building that lead, did you just kind of feel it? everything was working for you guys? You know, I, I think we did finally, you know, kind of find a rhythm and, you know, our tempo was good. And I think, uh, you know, we were just executing, just playing out there, playing ball. And I think that's just kind of just all fell into place. In that game, you had rushing yardage, you did throwing yardage. You also <laughs> caught, is that your first conference? I think that was your first <laughs> collegiate pass for it, it was, it was, <laughs> yeah. Now, you, you caught it laying on your back. Did you just kind of get tripped up by the uh, yard lines? Um, I don't want to blame the throw in. He had to come back a little bit for it. But uh, now I was just trying to make a play, get the, make sure I get a catch. <laughs>
you know, I, it helps a lot. Uh, I think it slows the game down for me, you know, getting to kind of watch and see how they're reacting to his runs and how, you know, how we're kind of hitting them in the run game. So I think it obviously helps me, helps the passing game out a lot, you know, but when you can gain four plus yards of play running the ball, I mean, that's obviously really good anytime you can do that. Yeah, I think we spread the ball around pretty good. Uh, you can't focus on one guy in our offense, and you just got to – everybody's going to make plays and going to get their opportunity. You just got to be ready to make them. Uh, you know, they're a good team. I mean, they haven't played anybody that's not a good team. Like, they've played ranked opponents, so, you know, just – you got to come in, treat them the same. You know, they're a good defense, good offense, so we just got to be ready to play. I guess, what's it like coming off the win against Washburn and a home game and the fan base has got to be ready to go, but just how excited are you to be playing in front of the home fans after the big win against Washburn? You know, uh, very excited. Just always a uh, good time playing home. Always uh, fun playing in front of Welch. So, you know, just ready to get back out there this Saturday. Good, how are you? Good. So I'm curious, five games done in the season now, how would you, how accurate would you say your guys' scout is when you're watching film during the week versus what you see in the games on Saturdays? Uh, you know, most time it's somewhat accurate. I mean, obviously there's lots of adjustments made in the game, and, you know, a lot of teams don't do what we do either, so you kind of got to prepare like they would, how they would play us. So. You know, it's not really always right, but sometimes you can get pretty close to kind of what they'll do. Yeah, and UCM leads the MIAA in interceptions. So do you prep any differently? Do you play them a little differently just to make sure that they don't catch your pass? Yeah, I mean, we still got to play our game and, you know, do what we do on offense and execute. Uh, but for sure, got to take care of the ball. Um, you know, got to win those critical areas right there. So I think that'll be a big, uh, a big thing this weekend. Thank you. Hey, Brandon, we know, obviously, you're a player of the week, as it was mentioned earlier. You know, you've won a couple of those the last couple of weeks. And so what does that say about your offense and what the trust Coach Higgins has in you and this offense for you to really just continue to click and, and put points up on the board? You know, I think uh, him trusting me and trusting the offense, you know, that gives all of us uh, a confidence. And to go out there and play and just have fun, you know, and also playing with the guys around me, they give me confidence that I can trust them and, you know, just get them the ball and let them do their thing because that's really all I try to do is just let them do what they do. One last thing for me, Kate said, you know, when the defense is really, you know, clicking and giving you guys the ball, they really trust when the ball is in your hands. When you hear that from the defensive side, right, and just your team trusting you, you know, how does that make you feel? Does it give you more confidence? Just maybe talk to me about that one when, when your whole team has confidence in you every time you have the ball. Yeah, I mean, it most definitely does. Uh, it definitely gives you confidence out there. You feel like you can go score at, you know, any point in the game, any drive. So, you know, just having guys believing in you and believing in each other, I, you know, that just sets up, you know, just a close-knit close, close -knit group. And, you know, that gets us in those tough games that, you know, that we all play each week. So just having that behind you really helps a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Brady. Thanks, Brady. Well, Coach, Central Missouri coming up on Saturday, and as you mentioned on Hornet Talk, this is a team that you don't look at their record of one and four. This is still a pretty good football team. What makes them so dangerous? Yeah, I mean, they are a very good football team. I mean, let's uh, – first of all, there's uh, – you know, they've had a lot of success there at, at UCM. Um, you know, their schedule, you know, I mean, they've played three teams, three out of their four uh, teams that they've played – have are, are ranked in the top 20 and uh you know so and they've played them close so uh, i think they're just they're a typical central missouri team where they do a lot of different things uh, on offense and then they also do a lot of different things uh on defense you know and they've always been able to uh score points uh you know if you look at our past games that we've had uh they've been shootouts and uh kind of the last person with the football 
wins. So we don't we definitely don't want to go through that. But uh, they are a dangerous football team. I also know they have confidence because they got a win last week. And, and uh, if you're 0-4 and then you get a win, it just gives – naturally it's going to give you confidence going into the next week. New coach, Coach Lamberson, but he's not new to Central Missouri. He was their offensive coordinator at one time. Are you seeing them doing some of the same things they did when he was their offensive coordinator? Yeah, I mean, there's the there's, uh, same, uh, I think you want to say philosophy, thought process, whatever it might be, where, you know, there's a lot of different formations um, that they get into. And, uh, you know, they do want to throw the football uh, around. They have talented receivers. So, and the thing about Coach Lamberson is that he knows this league. Uh, he grew up in it. And, uh, you know, he played in this league. He was a very good football player, and he's – uh, coached in this league, so he understands, you know, number one, kind of how to recruit in the MIAA um, and what, you know, and making sure your team is prepared each and every Saturday because that's, that's, that's so key uh, week in and week out. Yeah, I think it I know for us offensively, it kind of gets us in a rhythm. You know, we haven't – it's taken us a little while to get going here this year uh, with our first drives and, and uh, even our second drives. But I think we're, we're getting better. Uh, I think like last week, I think us uh, defensively coming out and, and really kind of shutting them down uh, and then us finally able to get points on the board. I just think it gives you confidence in – I feel like we have a lot of momentum right now. So I think it's important for us to get off to a good start uh, to continue building on that momentum. Yeah, that's uh, – I don't know if that's ha- – you know, Don's not here to give me the, st- the stats on that. Uh, but I don't think that's happened since I've been the head football coach as far as two guys uh, on the same team. Uh, getting MIAA Player of the Week. I think that, uh, um, I mean, I think it's a, a you know, a, a great reward, of course, because this MI, the MIAA is so competitive. Um, at the same time, you know, I mean, I'm a, I'm the guy, I'm the coach that wants to make sure that our guys are staying, you know, we're, we're, we had a good win last week. We need to put something back to back. That's what we've not done. We've been on a roller coaster ride and, um, you know, but I do think it's nice for our guys when they're recognized. Uh, for their effort and their play. And I guess, you know, you had the tough loss against two weeks ago against, uh, against um, Pitt State. You still, we're still bringing that up, huh? Yeah, maturity, uh, veterans, you know, I mean, I think we got really good leadership on this football team. That was one of the, my biggest things I was worried about is that, that loss against Pitt, hurt, you know, took a lot out of us. Uh, you know, I've said that. I could see it in our players' eyes uh, after that game that they had put it all out there and we just ended up not getting the job done. And uh, I was worried about going on the road uh, the next week and having a letdown. But uh, that maturity level and, and really how we prepared that week, I, I, I did not notice one a difference in our guys on Tuesday. And, um, you know, even during the game uh, on Saturday, even at, when we come out at halftime, uh, and even when they made their run the fourth quarter, I just felt like our guys had a sense of confidence in them uh, that maybe they haven't had before in the past. And uh, I just think we need to feed off of that. And uh, we need to use it the right way and not use it the wrong way to where we're not, you know, I always tell them the, the season's a grind in the MIAA. You have to prepare the same week or the same way every week. It does not matter who you're playing. It's not like you can do more film study when we played Pitt and now we're playing a one and four team and we try to – we take off a little bit or the guys aren't up here as much. Like, I look for stuff like that because I think you have to prepare the same way because the most important game we're playing is Saturday. That's a big game. That is the biggest game right now because it's our next game. I know that's cliché, but that is true. You know, so the way we go about our preparation has to be the same. It has to be habit, you know. So, and it's, I've noticed that this week that our guys are doing the same thing that they were doing last week and the previous week before. Hey, Coach, how are you? Good, how are you?
crazy amount of passes. Does he is still surprise you with his ability? You know, there are times he he does. I mean, I think a lot's expected of him. I know that standard of uh, his play has been raised because he is a returning starter, and he. You know, from a statistical standpoint, last year he had a had a really good season. And, uh, you know, so I think there's a lot of things put upon his shoulders. Uh, I think he's mature enough to handle that. I think, um, you know, he is uh, uh, preparing the right way. I, I, I want to say that, yeah, it doesn't surprise me because that's the way he should play every week. But that's, you know, I want to see growth, okay? So, like, I want to see him continue to get better. Because I think he can. Now he has such a high ceiling level, and I know he's he's playing well right now. But he's again, he's got to do it every week. Uh, and and I've talked to the quarterbacks about that. Is we got to be different than any other p position. We got to study film differently. We got to do it more. Uh, we have me and Braden. We we meet a lot just individually and talking about the game plan. You know, I want to know what he likes. I want to know what he is comfortable with on critical downs. And if we talk that out as coaches and we're on the same page and, and you get in a situation in a game, because the MIAA, there's there's calls, you know, that are going to be tight calls. Believe me, I know. It's why I got all this gray hair everywhere, is that I want my quarterback to understand and we want I want him to be on the same page with me as far as what we like in this situation. And and I think that, that helps him. I do. I think that gives him confidence in what he's doing. Uh, but, yeah, I, I am still surprised. But I want that. I want to be surprised because my expectation level uh, for him is really high. And UCM leads the MIAA in interceptions. Just how do you guys kind of practice protecting the football? Yeah. Does that change at all? You know, it's not like uh, you go into a week, Laney, where, uh, okay, because they do lead in interceptions, you, you do anything different in your practices. Yeah, I've talked about it, mentioned it one time. But our job on offense is to protect the football. So, like, we have ball security drills that we do uh, regularly. And we don't change. Like, you know, last year – I get, I mean, last year we, we had a lot of turnovers against them. And we had six, I think. Uh, and, uh, you know, talked about it a little bit this week, but not just harping on it because I think that should just be a part of your culture all right, is the ball security part of it. And I, I worry sometimes that if you talk about it too much or put, like, really too much of an em emphasis on it differently than a previous week, then guys may, you know, over overcompensate or, or, I've, or, we've, or we do turn the ball over a lot, you know, because we talk about it so much, you know. So, I don't know, that's that psychological part uh, with me being a psychology major. Plus, we're from Oklahoma, so we have that accent, you know, that country accent, right? So, anyway, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> so, then, when you guys are speaking that same language, you know, you said your offense really has to be in a rhythm. And, you know, you, did, you guys did score 45 points. I think it was an opening week in Washburn. You guys really showed that you can click on all cylinders. Do you think you've gotten to that point on, on the offensive side where – you guys can still do more, or you guys are just scratching at the surface? I, I think we can do more. I, I really do. I think last week we uh, played four quarters and executed for four quarters. You know, there uh, at the end of the game, we kind of slowed down uh, because we felt like we had control of the game. I know it got a little bit <laughs> a little bit closer than what I wanted, uh, but uh, I still think there's so much room for improvement. And it was good to see us play the way we did last week. Uh, you know, and I think we're gradually beginning to kind of hit our stride offensively. If you go back to, okay, we really struggled bad against UCO. We didn't even show up. And then Missouri Western, we started clicking Pittsburgh State. I know we even, we only scored 13 points, but we were able to move the football. We didn't have the ball much the second half. And then, of course, last week. So I think hopefully we're hitting our stride to where we're becoming more consistent. Other Other weeks I've talked to you guys about we're just not – consistent enough and I think we're getting there uh, but I definitely feel like there's a lot more uh, room for us to continue to get better well, well, excuse me, one last thing I had game, right? you beat Washburn obviously is one of your best you know or rivalries that you guys will play every year and so what does that do for the team moving forward right I know you can't look at the past and we talked about that as well and so how do you look at that game 
and say, hey, this is what we can be, and this is what we can do to be even better. Right. Yeah, I mean, you you said it right there. I mean, that was basically my message to them was like, look, guys, I mean, we are a good football team. I've told them all along that we're a good football team. We just have to play like it, and we got to continue to get better. And what I want it to do is is just jumpstart us and, uh, uh, you know, build off of what we did. You know, we've been on a – I told them, let's get off the roller coaster. All right? You win a good game. You play well. You you lose. You're up. You win. You, I mean, it's – you know, we got to stop that. So that's what I hope they take away from that. And they also take away, don't be scoreboard watchers in this league. Don't be record watchers in this league because there are football teams that will beat you, all right, in this league if you don't prepare the right way. That was perfect. Oh, what? All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is that it? Okay. All right. See you guys.